Christy Wilson. I am a registered dietitian nutritionist uh, here in Tucson, Arizona, and I love making quick and healthy recipes. I love sharing quick and healthy recipes, and I want to thank the Tucson Hispanic Chamber of Commerce for asking me to share some of this information uh, with all of you. Um, Today I will be making a strawberry and oat smoothie that um, you can you can find these ingredients at any grocery store um, and so hopefully this recipe will inspire you to make this at home or to put your own twist on this recipe so I'm just giving you the idea and um, I have a lot of other ideas here on ways that you can modify this recipe and um, include some different ingredients, add some nutrition. Um, we all want to stay um, healthy as we're hopefully staying home uh, and um, keeping ourselves healthy, keeping everybody else healthy, keeping our family healthy. Um, and one great way to do that is to make sure that you're feeding yourself foods that will strengthen your immune system and make you feel energized and um, yeah, and feel good. So um, I have a, a, a lot of different ingredients here. I'm gonna take you right through this really, it, you know, there's really nothing um, super special about the ingredients here, other than the fact that they are nutrient rich. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna give you, again, some different ideas on ways that you can, you know, modify this, this simple, super simple recipe. So I'm going to be using um, some fresh strawberries. So strawberries um, are in season right now and for several months to come. So what that means is when a food is in season, that means these are foods that are being picked at the farms now. Um, and that also means that they are, they are at their peak, not only in flavor, but they're also at their peak in nutrition. So this is, um, you know, when a lot of people ask me, you know, what are the best fruits to eat? What are the best vegetables to eat? Um, and, and, you know, there's, every fruit and vegetable is healthy. Um, but the ones that are in season are the ones that are at their, their peak in nutrition and they taste so good right now. So strawberries are just one of several foods that are in season right now. The other thing is that you will find that these foods are often on sale at the grocery store. So um, there's an abundance of them being uh, picked or harvested right now. So, um, so that means that it drives the price down too. So we're gonna use a, a cup of fresh strawberries. You can also use frozen strawberries um, as an alternative and it kind of makes, it's good for a, a smoothie or a shake too because it makes it nice and, I don't know, adds some extra texture. Um, so one thing about strawberries and other berries is that um, unlike some other fruits and vegetables that you can rinse and then store, with berries you wouldn't want to do that because it will, the, the, the skin is very um, thin on the outside and so um, storing it wet will make it spoil faster. So you wouldn't want to rinse your strawberries until right before you're ready to use them. So I just rinsed these um, right before, you know, getting prepared for this. So these are already clean. I've just hulled them, which means I've just taken that little green part of it off. Um, so what I do is I just kind of gather this part and I pull that off. And then with a knife, I know you can't see it, but I'll show you here. Um, I just run my paring knife, which is the small knife, uh, around the top, and then that part just comes off. So um, you could, I, I think that when you just sort of slice that whole part off, you lose a lot of fruit. So um, just kind of cutting the very top um, is a good way to not waste food. So I'm going to, Add this into I'm just again like last week I made a salsa recipe um, and we did it in the blender and so kind of same idea Oops. Um, I'm just gonna sort of throw everything in here so we've got a cup of strawberries again hi another thing about um, strawberries is they are loaded with vitamin C one serving of strawberries is actually eight 
strawberries. Um, and it's one of the 10 superfoods that the American Diabetes Association has um, highlighted as a um, lower glycemic index um, fruit or food rather. Um, so they give their seal of approval on strawberries and they taste great. So, um, so I've got uh, one small container of Greek yogurt and this is vanilla Greek yogurt. You can use whatever yogurt you like or whichever one you have on hand. So this is something that you can also make with your kids. If you have kids, um, they can, you know, if they're a little older, they can totally make this themselves. Super duper simple. Okay, so I'm adding in a quarter cup of oats. This is, these are just plain oats. You can buy rolled oats, you can buy quick oats, which are a little more flaky um, than these rolled oats. But this is a quarter cup, it's adding in, so what it adds in here into your smoothie is besides the texture, it also adds in some fiber, which is good for our gut um, and promotes good gut health. And once you blend this together, you know, um, you can make it as fine or as coarse as you'd like. So the longer you blend it, then the more broken down this will get, but the, the nutrition stays in there. So I'm also adding in one cup of just uh, low fat milk, which I'm using 1% milk. You can use 2% if you have that. It adds a little more cream uh, and more texture to it. If you have whole milk, you can add that in too. And then I'm also gonna show you that you can also add in plant-based milk. So if you um, don't tolerate cow's milk or it's just not your preference, then you can use soy milk, you can use almond milk, you can use rice milk, oat milk, um, whatever milk that you have. So I'm adding in one cup You can also add in ice if you wanna make this colder or you like that more like slushy flavor, you can do that too. I'm gonna add in for some extra sweetness, um, a teaspoon, actually a tablespoon. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of honey. So here is a trick, because honey is very sticky. Um, I just add in a quick spray of just cooking oil, whichever cooking oil you have, or you can just, um, uh, add some oil to a paper towel and just sort of, you know, um, add it to your spoon. So I'm just going to quickly spray it. Oops. And this is going to help the honey just slide out instead of me having to, you know, dig back in there. So I'm just adding regular uh, clover honey. You can also add agave syrup if you want. They're both sweet ones they just have different flavors um it just kind of boils down to your flavor preference so i want to show you just how easy this slides out and it really saves you kind of the mess that honey <laughs> can create so um so i've got that in there you can also add in Again, for a little extra sweetness, you can add in a little bit of orange juice if you want, um, but I'm just gonna use the honey. Okay, and what else? And then that's it, that's pretty much it. We've got the strawberries, the yogurt, um, oats, honey, and then, oh, another thing is vanilla extract. So the yogurt already has a vanilla flavor. I like a little extra vanilla flavor. Again, this is your smoothie, so you add in whatever you want. And you don't need a lot. Oops, it's kind of going all over the place. But I added in a quarter teaspoon. That's it. Um, a little bit, a little more, I think, would be kind of overwhelming. So um, we're just using that. Okay. So we're just going to make sure this is securely covered or we're going to have a big mess. Um, turn on my blender. And all right, so you know, it's always fun to serve um, shakes or smoothies in like pretty cups. So I found these at Target a long time ago and they've got a little lid and a straw. So this is just fun, especially for kids um, or, you know, just sort of a, a stemless 
wine glass is fun too. And hopefully I don't spill this. It's kind of thick, so it's different from a milk. A milkshake tends to be thinner. Um, oh, let's see, we have some extra leftover. Oh, I didn't add in, but I meant to add in. And if you have a larger um, a glass, you can add in some cinnamon. Um, you can add in some nutmeg. You can kind of dress it up that way. And this is really good very good for any meal um, you can also use um, you can put these into mason jars the, the whatever size mason jars and make several for you know the you know three mornings in a row or for the rest of the week so you can have store those in the refrigerator um, and have you know something healthy ready to go for a snack or as a quick breakfast or an after workout drink or whatever you'd like. So what I have here is, first of all, um, if you don't have um, a blender, uh, you can use something like this, which is an immersion blender. Mine's kind of stained from using it so much. Um, but this is just something you can plug in and you can put all your ingredients in a large tumbler and then just mix it right in here. And so you don't have to deal with a big old blender. Um, this is really good for soups as well that you uh, puree all the ingredients like a tomato soup or a, a black bean soup or something like that. Um, so I wanted to show you some other things that I have here. So I mentioned the honey, which is what we used. There's also the agave syrup that you can use instead of honey. You can also use juices to sweeten um, your shake as well. Extracts are another good way to add in a lot of flavor. You can use almond, you can use vanilla. Um, for added protein, you can add in some nuts like almonds, almond butter, um, peanut butter. I have walnuts here. Uh, besides the um, oats, you can add in some flaxseed if you use that for anything. You can use something like hemp hearts. That adds in some good fiber as well and some good nutrition. Um, besides the uh, cow's milk, you could use uh, almond milk. That's excellent. Uh, soy milk, again, rice milk, any of your plant-based milks are fine. Use whatever you have, use whatever you tolerate. Um, that's up to you. As far as um, other flavors you can add in, I mentioned the cinnamon. You can use anything like um, ginger, which is really good if you add like peanut butter. You can add some different flavor with ground ginger. Nutmeg is another good addition. Um, and then besides fresh fruit. So if you don't have fresh fruit, you can use, um, you can use frozen fruit. So you can use dry, um, I'm sorry, um, uh, frozen blueberries. You can add uh, frozen peaches. You can even add dry fruits. Um, and then you can have like combinations. You can use with the strawberry, bananas taste really good. You can add mango. Um, and another thing, and this grows really well here in Tucson is um, mint. So that's something, you know, you don't want it overpowering your shake, but it is a nice um, flavor addition. So anyway, I will um, make sure and put this recipe on my website, um, and uh, which is christywilsonnutrition.com. And yeah, um, thank you so much. I hope that this is a recipe that you'll enjoy and make your own. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.